dream comes true. You could swim along the river, all the way to the sea. You could fly up in the sky, above the clouds and trees. You could plant a flower garden up on top of the moon. You could swing through the jungle all afternoon. Wherever our story takes us, I can't wait to see. Yes, friends, come and read with me. It's online story time. Hello everybody and welcome to Online Storytime at your Grand Rapids Area Library. I'm Miss Tracy. I'm Teacher Missy. And we are so excited to have you with us today. Now Teacher Missy, before we start talking about that amazing animal we're going to talk about today, sing. should we sing? I think we should sing. Storytime friends, would you sing with us? And remember, you can clap your hands or anything you want to clap. Here we go. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, clap your hands. And I do want to hear a story today. So Teacher Missy, what do you want to talk about today? Oh, Miss Tracy, this is one of my favorite animals on the planet. Um, I, I just, it, they are amazing. And if you look at it, it looks a little bit like a, a dog, but similar. Yeah, similar, but not a dog. No. And they're in the same family. They though. are. They're in the family of canines. Yep. With foxes and coyotes and wolves. Whoa. This is a wolf. And he's the largest of the canines, um, the wild canines. Um, some dogs can get pretty big too, but. Um, they are amazingly intelligent, beautiful. And they live in family groups called yes, packs. They, they live do. in families and they take care of each other in they the do. families. They do. I find that amazing. I know. They're and we do have wolves in northern Minnesota, quite a few of them actually, but you rarely, rarely see them. You do rarely see them, but my husband saw one last night in the field right across from our house big beautiful wolf mm. he was all by himself just trotting across the and i saw one in a little town close by our town i was driving on the highway and this this wolf ran right out by my car and then he turned around quickly and ran back it was amazing to see him in a town like that well yeah and, and the sightings are rare mm -hmm. they're quite what we call elusive means they kind of hide they don't they don't want to hang out with people, right? You know, they're just looking for food and a place to sleep, and um, and they live in groups, like like Miss Tracy said, and they also um, they're they're called den animals, um, which means they they like to burrow in inside of a den. And if you've noticed, if you have a dog, your dog may kind of do that, like under a blanket or in their kennel, um, and and that's that's just an instinct for them. Mm -hmm. And wolves are meat eaters, which sometimes is a problem for farmers in the area, because if a wolf can have access to a sheep mm -hmm. or something like that, oftentimes they will choose that for their dinner. So I understand that frustration, but they are incredibly intelligent and beautiful animals. Yes, they are. So do you have any good stories about wolves? Well, yeah. <laughs> Miss Tracy, look at this. Oh. This. Hmm. Somebody's trying to make a friend, it looks like. It looks like it. Well, this book is just a great book. Well, they're all great books, but this is a really great book. And it's called First Friend. How dogs evolved from wolves to become our best friends. It was written by Kirsten Hamilton and illustrated by Jamie Kim. And it comes to us, I have to do this quickly, guys, because it's a big word, Fair Strauss Zero. Okay, Miss Tracy's laughing at me. First friend. Hmm, I wonder who the first friend was or is. Let's find out. First friend. How dogs evolved from wolves to become our friends. Long, long ago, when nomads, 
who hunted through Europe and Asia fought lean, hungry wolves for their prey. So they must be eating the wolves. Ooh, but that was a long time ago. I don't think we eat them anymore. <laughs> on a wide, wide plain where the wind whirls blue, on the grass was new, a girl met pup. There she is, chasing the pup. They jumped and chased, and they were both very brave. The wolf pup grew. The girl did too. But everyone knew wolves and girls could not be friends. Still, the wolf watched as the girl hunted and learned. The girl watched the wolf as the wolf hunted and learned. They're kind of learning from each other, aren't they? The sun went down. The world turned around, and the years and years went by. And then, one day, long, long ago, when people's homes were huts of branches and hides and wild wolves crept close to snatch bones. Look at they're coming right up to get bones. On a morning when winter was melting at last and the river was tumbling spring flow fast, a wolf pup met a boy whose fingers tied knots, scritched itches, and sometimes shared treats. I have not heard the word scritch before. Scritched itches. Scritch scratch. But the wolf pup grew. The boy did too. Everyone knew the wolf and the boy were not quite friends. And there he is up on the hillside howling at the moon. That's what we say they do. I don't know if they're howling at the moon or just talking. But the boy watched as the wolf fished and laughed. And the wolf waited as the boy fished and hoped. The sun went down, the world turned round, and the years and years went by. And then, one day, long, long ago, when the traders brought shells to barter for dried river fish, and the mama wolf dug her den near, but not too near, so there's her, remember we talked about them being den animals. She made a den under a tree. On a certain night in the blue twilight, a girl met a wolf pup who had feathers. The girl had dried deer meat and knew how to trade. She's trading, look at it. She's looking at that feather. The pup grew, and, and the girl did too. And everyone knew they hunted together, almost like friends. The sun went down, the world turned round, and the years and years went by. And then? One day, long, long ago, when the valley was changing and the people and wolves all knew that soon, they would have to find new homes far away. While the sun burned high and the grass grew dry, a wolf pup met a boy digging in a dry riverbed. They dug down until the hole filled with water. The pup grew and the boy did too. And everyone knew that they were the best of friends. The wolf watched the boy leaving and whined. The boy looked back and called, and Dog left the wild wolf pack to follow the boy away. 
The sun went down, the world turned round. Thousands and thousands and thousands of years went by. And then, just yesterday, a pup met a girl. There's the pup. And that pup's ancestors before him were what? What do you think? How'd that pup get here? Yeah, they were wolves long before. She looks pretty happy to see that pup. Me too. The first friend. Hey, story time, friends. Hey, teacher Missy. Yes, Miss Tracy. Ready for a flannel board? Oh, I'd love to do the flannel board. All right, so today's story time, friends, we're gonna retell a story. And this story is based on the book by Claudia Rueda, and it's called, Let's Play in the Forest While the Wolf is Not Around. Now, this is important because you are gonna have to be an important part of the story. And when I say, let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around, I want you to say, wolf, are you there? Can you say that, teacher Missy? Wolf, wolf are you there? All right, and we're gonna find out if the wolf is there or if we can play in the forest. All right, here we go. Let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around. Wolf? Wolf, are, are, are you, you there? there? Putting on my underpants. There he is. He's there. He's putting on his underpants. Okay. Well, let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around. Wolf? wolf? Are, are you there? there? Just putting on my t-shirt. There he is. Sounds like he's getting dressed. I think he is. Hey, let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around. Wolf, are, are you there? there? Is he there? Well, yeah, but he's just putting on the pants. There he is, just putting on his pants. Hey, let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around. Wolf, wolf? Uh, are, you uh, there? are you there? Just putting on my t-shirt. Oh, looks like he's getting dressed. Hey, let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around. Wolf? wolf? Are, are you, you there? there? Just putting on my socks. There he is, putting on his socks. Hey, let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around. Wolf? wolf. Are you there? Just putting on my boots. He's getting closer to being dressed. Let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around. Wolf, are you there? Just putting on my coat. There he is. Got his wolfy coat on. Hey! Let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around. Wolf, are, are you, you there? there? Just got to comb the fur. <laughs> there he is. See, that's a, that's a comb for fur right there. Hey, let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around. Wolf, are, are you, you there? there? Just putting on my backpack. There he is. Hey, let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around. Wolf, are, are you, you there? there? Yes, and I'm very hungry. And I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat. Uh-oh. I wonder what he's going to eat. Is he going to eat me? Is he going to eat you? He might. Oh, I hope he doesn't eat us. I'm going to eat... Pancakes! Yay! I love pancakes! Yay! I'm going to have pancakes! Yay! And Wolf had his pancakes, and he went off.
off to school. The end. Look at this. Miss Tracy, check it out. Did you miss that we're talking about wolves today and there's a whole bunch of bunnies on the cover of that book. That's kind of confusing, isn't it? Yeah, and the funny thing is, it says there are no bunnies here, but I see a lot of bunnies. But I see a lot of bunnies, and it does say no bunnies here. This was written by Tammy Sauer and illustrated by Ross Barak, and it comes to us from, I just read it, Double Day Books. No bunnies here. Well, let's find out. Huh. I wonder what they are. That oh, I see something else on that page. Right here. This is not a bunny. <laughs> that looks like a wolf to me. Right. Welcome to Bunnyville, it says. There, <laughs> here's the wolf. Oh, uh, hello there, wolf. My, uh, my, oh, <laughs> what big teeth you have. You look hungry. Too bad there's nothing yummy here. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> what? You thought I was a bunny? <laughs> no. Surely you know that I'm a unicorn. You should know one when you see one. If you want a bunny, you came to the wrong place. There are no bunnies here. And it says, welcome to, and they changed the sign, Unicorn Land. Mm -hmm. The wolf isn't buying it. Look at his face. He's checking it out. Uh, that? Oh, that, that's not a bunny. <laughs> is that a bunny? I think it is. Clearly, clearly it is a lamp. Bye-bye now, Wolf. Have a nice day. <laughs> munch, munch, munch. He's eating a carrot. That lamp is eating a carrot. Oh, look. What an adorable um, puppy. Sit, boy. Sit. Hey, there are certainly lots of interesting things around this place. Grass, clump of dirt, more grass. But a bunny? Nope. Nope, there are no bunnies here. Well, would you look at that, at what the wind has just blown our way. Have you ever seen such a perfect pair of squishy pillows? I think we'll cozy right up here and take a nap. Nighty night. <laughs> he looks a little suspicious. Oh dear, that is definitely not a bunny parade. You must be confused, Wolf. Perhaps you just need to relax. I know, take, take a vacation. I hear Antarctica is lovely this time of year. Please give my regards to the penguins. Bon voyage. How would a bunny speak French? Hmm, I think not. They're trying to pack him up and send him away. I wonder if he's gonna go. Uh, excuse me, Wolf, but your eyes are kind of watery and your, your nose is a bit sniffy. Hmm, what's wrong? You just want to find a bunny? And it's not because you're hungry? No? Your favorite dinner is an organic salad with a side of pinto beans? Then why are you trying so hard to find a bunny? Oh, you simply like bunnies. And he's holding a sign that says Bunny Fan Club, official member. Well, you believe bunnies are second to none in terms of charm. Gosh, I, I quite agree. And most importantly, go on. Being a lone wolf is lonely. 
And, and you really want a friend? Oh, wow. Now I'm crying. Wait, Wolf, please. Please stay. Oh, but there's something you should know. In this place, you won't find one single friend. You'll find a whole bunny bunch. There are lots of bunnies here. Look at how happy he is. Very happy. Oh, look at him. want to eat the bunnies. He, 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 in, on this very far back page, he's just kind of hanging out with them. <laughs> and they got, him, they got him a basket, an Easter basket, <laughs> to our new friend, Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wasn't going to eat them. He just wanted some friends. Cool. No bunnies here. <laughs> they tried hard. A hey, story time, friends. Teacher Missy. Yes, ma'am. Anybody want to wave a scarf? Oh, let's let's do it. Okay, that's so fun. I think so too. So, out of your story time kits, I want you to find your scarf. And if you don't have a scarf, you can use a washcloth, or a sock, or a towel. You can use whatever you've got. Peekaboo. We'll give Teacher Missy her green scarf. Oh, Ooh. there we go. Oh, got a scarf all over me. It's, it's sticking to you. I guess so. Oh, look, my red scarf matches my red shirt. It does. I didn't even plan that, and it looks really great. Okay, so you got your scarf? Are you ready? We're first going to do our scarf warm-up. Uh, did you hear something? Oh, did you hear something? Yeah, I did hear something. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, story time, friends. Oh, absolutely. Story time, friends. Elephant would like to join us today. Go, Teacher Missy. Good morning, good morning, Elephant. Hello, story time, friends. Good to see you. Elephant, I haven't seen you in a long time. I'm delighted that you're with us today. Just stand right there, shake your hand. Thank you. And are you ready to do some scarves? Okay, let's start with our warm up. Here we go. My scarf goes up, my scarf goes down, my scarf goes around, 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 around. My scarf goes in, my scarf comes out, my scarf flies about, 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 about. Woo! Are you ready for fast? Let's do it. Here we go. My scarf goes up, my scarf goes down, my scarf goes around, 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 around. My scarf goes in, my scarf comes out, my scarf flies about, 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 about. Woo! Wow, that was fast. Did you woo with me? Woo! Let's woo one more time. Here we go. Woo! I love a good woo. Good woo in the morning really wakes me up. All right, here we go. Now we are going to do a wolf scarf song and it's called this is the way wolves leap and play and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to leap like this because wolves when they're jumping after little animals or when they're just having fun they kind of prying up into the gear and come down on their front paws here we go this is the way wolves leap and play leap and play leap and play this is the way we'll sleep and play so early in the morning. Now, guess what? Sometimes wolves have fleas in their fur and they're really itchy. So we're going to scratch our fleas, okay? Here we go. This is the way we scratch our fleas, scratch our fleas, scratch our fleas. This is the way we scratch our fleas so early in the morning. Woo! And finally, wolves run really, really fast when they're running with their pack. So can you get your scarf going really fast back and forth? Here we go. This is the way wolves run with their pack, run with their pack, run with their pack. This is the way wolves run with their pack so early in the morning. Let's leap and play one more time. Oh, that's, this is a good one. I yeah. Like this one. 
This is the way wolves leap and play, leap and play, leap and play. This is the way wolves leap and play so early in the morning. Ah, thanks for playing. Oh, teacher Missy. Story time, friends. I had such a good time with you today. This was just awesome. I know, we learned how that dogs, our pet dogs, their ancestors are actually wolves. I know, it's They became amazing? domesticated from a wolf, which is kind of funny. I know. Um, and then, nobody's here. Because the bunny was just trying to save his or her bunny friends, and the wolf. Did the wolf really want to eat the bunnies? He didn't missing? want to eat the bunnies. I don't think so either. Um, and then, we watched our wolf get dressed, and I was a little frightened at that. I was wondering if the wolf wanted to eat me. And he didn't. What did he want to eat, story time friends? <laughs> That's what the wolf wanted to eat for breakfast. That was like his favorite thing. But now I think it's time to say goodbye. Would you sing with us? I think so. Let's see. All right, here we go. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Story time is done today, now it's time to go and play. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, and watch out your car window when you're driving to see if you might see a wolf. <laughs>